welcome back guys. So in case you're wondering where the fuck am I, I just lost one whole episode because of my stupidity. So yeah. Now I can't do anything about it unless I would decide to replay the whole um, game basically. Start over from level 1. Fuck that. So yeah. I apologize for that. Uh, guess we will continue. My family, back in the village, save them. What happened? The sky turns dark, darker than I've ever seen, and then the villagers, they changed. Oh well. Please, help them. I'm begging you. Anyway, what happened was that we did um, destroy this whole place, basically. We did blow it up. Did fight some boss. So, yeah, it was just a tiny story boss, so he didn't drop anything or... Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, so yeah, I also did, did dig lots of this and this, but yeah, don't have anything else left. I'm not sure if it was the next episode, uh, the, oh Jesus, the previous episode or the one before that, that I've got this outfit. Yeah, being fabulous as fuck. Anyway, I apologize once again. Yeah, um, it was really stupid mistake. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully it won't happen again. Okay, let's continue. One more, one more. Hi. Really? Comfort villager. Okay. <laughs> pew pew pew. Um. You're that warrior from Heaven's Reach. Am I glad to see you? What's the situation? Total chaos. I've been in the guard for over a decade and I've never seen anything like this. What caused it? No idea. The eyewitness accounts we've been getting from the survivors don't make much sense. They say a strange fog erupted from the sands and started turning people into those things. All the villagers ran for their lives. Well, everyone except for some weird tall woman who disappeared into a beach cave. Was this woman wearing black? I guess so, yeah. Tall, pale, black outfit, black hair. Why? Huh, jinx on. Hey, wait. The captain said to stay on the beach. You're alive. I mean, you're not undead. If you were undead, you would tell me, right? I'm not undead. 
Sorry about that, I just discarded tons of people ruining everything. I can't die here. I'm not rich yet. I found your journal. My journal? I thought I would never see it again. This journal is very important to my future. You uh, didn't read this, did you? Of course you didn't. A trustworthy warrior like you wouldn't do that. Anyway, I'm leaving this village. Hamatai is a good teacher and all, but blacksmithing is too much work. He will probably be revenant in a day or so anyway. Sweet. The fuck is this? The fuck are you? I think this is very bad idea to go after her. I don't think she will be there alone. Oh god, oh god. Is that her? It's her. Why can I not move? Yep, it's her. So you survived, interesting. Yes, you will do nicely. I want to see what she's saying. Okay. Let's talk business. Can I talk to you? <laughs> this cave is thick with evil. You should not be here. I was pursuing Jin Sion. One who killed our master? I fear she may have had a hand in all this. But our first priority is escaping this cave. Use the flamethrower. Let's cut a path with fire. Okay. I could also use my skills, but okay. It would be much easier. is back to normal. Yeah. The cave harbors a conduit between realms, but we have closed it for now. Did you pursue Jin Sayan all the way here? Okay, you gonna, gonna ask me to bring news of the Black Ram. His latest dealings with the Black Ram have been troubling. It all points to a spy in our midst. I must hurry ahead to the Tanjay Kilns in Gloomdross Forest. Conflict seems to be erupting on every front. Remember, Jian. Continue to train and recover your strength. Only then can you hope to take on Jin Sayan. Okay, okay. You're the hero of Bamboo Village. It's wonderful to meet you in person. I've been sent to share some knowledge about weapons. This will definitely help you in the cha challenges ahead, so listen closely. Some weapons contain sockets. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, it looks like a perfect fit. Alright, now let's remove the charm. Okay. Simple, isn't it? Just be sure to remember 
these three facts about weapon sockets. Firstly, most weapons with sockets will be sealed when you find them. You must unseal the weapon with the corresponding charm before you can equip it or socket it. Second, remember that the weapon can be socketed with two of the same color of gem. And lastly, keep in mind that removing a gem from sockets costs money, equipping is free, but pulling them out often will cost you. And that's everything! Yay! And you didn't give me any gem. You cheapo. Why have the heavens done this to me? What happened? It's all gone. My home, my friends, my, my family, my son and I were down at the beach when those hellish crabs emerged. And if I hadn't been so weak, maybe my son would be still alive. But you, you look strong enough to handle any beast. Will you help me avenge them? I will do what I can. Thank you, hero. I gave the bamboo guards my fishing spare guns. My son was just learning to use them. Please take the spare guns to the beach and kill us. But yes, of those abominations as you can, giant crabs are... Your most dangerous enemy. The damage they did is massive. Mm. Cute. Fifty. Really. Gosh. Like this. No. Oh. Bye. Oh my. This was fun. <laughs> I am grateful warrior. My family will rest easier with those creatures that I just wish I could have avenged them myself. I don't have much, but please take it. I won't need it anymore. Hmm, okay. Wait, I rec recognize that letter hat. You have a mission for me. Let me get this dirt off my hands. Alright, hand it over. Here you go. I see you have kidnappings, missing ebony wood stores and possible task other activity. Uh -huh, no problem. I'm on the case. Leave it to me. I'll figure it out in no time. Oh, daily warrior, you just who I wanted to see members of the clan of uh, Char Coalition have been kidnapped again. I told them to maybe get better security, and they told me that I don't know what I'm talking about. After a little detective work, I've concluded that the miners are being held captive in the depleted gold mine. I'm starting to think that the others have a factory down there. I know the racket is run by three overseers with the code names Gudu, Ban Badun, and Ugly. <laughs> Perhaps you should give them a lecture on how to get kidnapped again, okay. I can't believe this, it hits me right in the heart, just stab and stab and more. So what are you talking about? We didn't want any trouble, we just want to together ebony wood. Every day we would cut ebony wood and deliver it it ah, to Tenchai kills. It's a humble, honorable weapon. For humble, honorable workers. The Black Adders had, had been stealing ebony wood from the kiln, so the mount was up. We kept our heads down, didn't ask questions, and did our work. Last night, the Dusk Adders came back and ransacked one of our camps. They took the wood, they took my friends, and they even took our dinner. I'm scum, I'm a coward. I ran to the woods until Young took me in. She told me to stop crying. I couldn't. No, when my friends are trapped to work in the diplomatic court. The bad. Please, warrior, I beg of you. Hurry to the dep oh, gold mine and save my friends. Mm, okay. I can barely move, I can barely talk. I'm so scared. I was only assigned to gather mushrooms with ground, so I'm not trained for this brutal stuff. What happened? I'm not one of the guard. I'm just a volunteer. I hate bot and violence. I can't even handle raw meat. Maybe you will know what to do. This all started when I found a note in the dirt. I think someone's trying to kill Chunk and Man. Do you know Chunk and Man? I want to warn him, but I'm so scared. I will find him. Thank you. Please tell him before it's too late. Okay.
I don't recognize you worry what fine outfit you're wearing. I haven't seen this statue this exquisite since I work in Silverhouse. It's good to meet you. My name is Changuman. Please read this letter. A letter of me, but I'm I'm but a humble terror. Let's see. Oh I remember now. Dusk had a me a few weeks ago and stole a guard uniform. I was fixing it. As she ran away from me, I told her she shouldn't put it on unless she wanted more enemies. She told me to well, she wasn't very polite. <laughs> What's wrong with the uniform? Nothing, nothing's wrong with this uniform. Any bamboo guard can tell you that their uniform is a blessing and a curse. It shows that you won't stand for corruption and injustice. As you can imagine, this uniform won't make you popular like them. You seem to have a noble soul. You could be a true bastion against injustice. Would you like a uniform? Yes, please. It's noble of you to volunteer to stand with a bamboo guard. However, it's a huge responsibility. I certainly want to present yourself as a public enemy of a black room. I'm ready. So be it. Here you go. One uniform tailor made just for you. I recommend you stand with your guard friends while wearing it. I wish you the best. Speaking of sight and doing the right thing is rarely easy. I hope you are proud to wear the uniform of the bamboo guard. Yes. I will put it on just to, you know, just to see. Huh. I like this much more. <laughs> Boops. God damn it. What's this? Ooh. Easy. Come at me, the Oh shit, 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 shit. That was the good idea. See that? <laughs> now to kill ugly. <laughs> Again, cannot dig that. I don't get why though. It's weird. Yay, squirrel. Whoa, you got here pretty quick. I hope you're feeling good because today we're gonna learn some advanced combos. You can't just combine any old skill with another to make a combo. There's a flow to it, an art. 
Let's practice a combo that uses your blazing wall ability. We'll be practicing on the vermin that ate my training dummies. A bunch of plant knights. <laughs> the order of the combo is Dragon Whirl, Blazing Palm, and Blazing Wall. Use this combo on the groups of plague mites you see everywhere. I worked really hard on those stupid training dummies, and these little monsters just ate them. Avenge me, Cricket! <laughs> Use Dragon Whirl, Blazing Palm, and Blazing Wall to burn up these plague mites. <laughs> Okay. Use Dragon Whirl, Blazing Palm, and Blazing Wall to burn up these big mites. Yay. I love the smell of roasted plague mites in the morning. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty tough combo, but you handled it like a pro, Cricket. Now let's try Blazing Palm, Phantom Grip, and then Blazing Wall. We seem to be out of targets, though. Oh, there they are. See, you only killed a bunch of Plague Mite Young. Yeah, these are the full-grown versions, and they're not happy. Quick, use Blazing Palm, Phantom Grip, get to Burning Cricket. If you forget, the order is Blazing Palm, Phantom Grip, Blazing Wall. Burning cricket. If you forget, the order is blazing palm, phantom grip, blazing I did that, you stupid squirrel. Get to burning cricket. Nice going, cricket. These black mites have might have not been a problem, but that combo was a life something memorized. I was gonna keep training, but this cave is starting to smell too much like bird bug. I think we're gonna call it here. Take it easy, Cricket, and check your mail once in a while. There's still much more for me to teach you. Okay. Practice whenever you can. Nice job. Okay, my friends made it out. I know I should celebrate, but I can't believe what the others put them through. Dusk others forced me for the charcoal to make mine. For gold dust, how degrade? What's the point of gold dust? It's useless. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna pick this now. I'm just gonna do this survey now. All right, guys, I'm gonna end it here and continue the stuff here next time. Well, I will turn this in still. Uh, cause it's daily, so we can do that next time. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!